Hey friends, welcome back to Nathan Builds. Today we're gonna to be making this really cool cedar bench out of two by fours, then slot pickets, and oh, down here. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're making this cedar bench out of two by fours and fence slot pickets. You may be thinking to yourself, this looks very similar, but much smaller than a recent build Nathan made. That would be a factual thought. I made this for a couple of reasons. One, my son likes to drive his cars in the water in our wagon, and it is at a very awkward height. So I decided I'd make a bench, but the real reason is that I get a lot of comments from everybody that, Nathan, you have 5,000, 10,000 to $50,000 worth of tools. I don't have that. How could I possibly make the things you make? Well, I'm here to tell you, you can. In fact, all you need is a circular saw, a drill, a speed square, and a s orbital sander, or even just some sandpaper if you wanted. And the nice thing is, you can take the skills and techniques that I demonstrate in this video and take them and apply them to almost all of my other projects, plus or minus one or two tools. All right, so I'm using a bunch of scrap pieces of cedar two by fours and pickets for this build. You can clean them up with a sander and circular saw all linked to my last video, so you can check out how that's done. I started by cutting down the legs using my circular saw and a speed square. I'll include some links to the tools I'm using in the description below so you can kind of get an idea about the cost. These things are pretty cheap. Then I kind of eyed it up to see what length I wanted the stretchers and I went and cut those. I took another minute to get a sense of how I wanted the top to look, then I drilled the pocket holes in the two stretchers and attached them with glue and screws. I was only able to screw in one of the bottom screws since the stretchers were too short for my driver to fit, but things were plenty strong anyway, especially with the glue. Once I had the two sides built, I measured the widths of my two slot pieces and added in a quarter inch for the middle crack. Then I cut down four short stretchers to connect the two leg pieces. Again, I attached them with glue and pocket hole screws. Honestly, I probably didn't need the glue for any of the frame, but it's even sturdier now. You'll see later. I flushed up all the joints and got rid of any glue with my sander. Then I glued and nailed in my first two side stretchers. You can just use clamps or regular nails or screws or whatever for this. You definitely do not need a brad nailer. I cut the ends flush with a circular saw and then repeated the process for the other side. Next, I measured the top pieces and cut them down. Then I installed them again with glue and brad nails. In this project, I decided not to use miter joints for the corners, but I think if I did it again, I definitely would. It looks a little bit cleaner, and it's really easy to do with a circular saw, as you see here. You just kind of angle it, cut the joints, and boom, they're flush. After that, I did another round of sanding added some plastic feet to keep it out of standing water, and it was done. Well, I thought so. However, after living with it for a day or two, I decided that I definitely needed to add the inner leg pieces, so I went back and did that. I 
I ran out of slats that were the same width as I needed, so I just cut down another scrap with my circular saw and a straight edge. You can do this to flush everything up at the start if you need to. After a final round of sanding, I was done. I think it turned out great considering I rushed through this in like an hour. So if you take your time, you'd end up with something even nicer than this. So there you go. You can use just a couple of tools, these techniques, and make most of the projects on this channel. If you're here and you're thinking, man, I love this video. It is so good. I'd like you to go ahead and just hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and keep coming back for more because I love you guys. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. This has been a wild ride over two years, so a long wild ride, but all the support and, and kind comments, snarky comments, all the above has been really, really helpful in making me progress as a woodworker, as a video creator, and entertainer in general. I hope everyone out there is safe, bunkered down. You may notice I'm getting a little cooped up here, ready to you know, break out of the box, so to speak, ready to get back to life. I think it's pretty sturdy. Anyway, thanks again. I appreciate all your support. Have a good one. Stay safe.